Okay, so before starting using even Angular and its services, uh, let's create an API from which uh, we'll grab resources. Uh, this will be a so-called REST API. For this, I'll suggest to use this uh, JSON uh, server, which is actually free and can provide us uh, with uh, REST API uh, functionalities. So let's first uh, install the server. And this is the installation. You can type npm install minus g json server. I already have it installed. Actually, I can try to reinstall it. One thing to know about the npm and this minus uh, j uh, switch is actually that uh, this will enable json server to be executable by all the users. Otherwise, uh, if we didn't provide this uh, switch, we will have it only locally installed. Uh, again, we don't have permissions, so we'll type uh, sudo in front and our password and uh, the package uh, will be installed. So now once uh, we have the server installed, uh, we may try uh, running it. Uh, so we can just type uh, JSON server. This will probably require us to uh, provide an argument. And for argument, as you can see here in the documentation, uh, we have to uh, provide information uh, and afterwards we can uh, request uh, this information from our browser. So I already have prepared such file. We'll actually create it and I'll just uh, create a new file with this information inside. As you can see, this is a plain uh, JSON uh, object uh, which has items array uh, containing uh, three different items and uh, they have ID, title and description as keys and uh, some uh, values. Okay, uh, let's save uh, this file under the root directory. Uh, so directly here under our start project, uh, we'll save it as uh, items.json. And now using the JSON server, we'll uh, run this uh, file. So we'll just open another uh, terminal. And uh, since we have here the file items.json, we'll start our uh, JSON uh, server and we'll provide an, as an argument items.json. And uh, we see that we have a little errors in our file. We just have to remove uh, those commas here. Uh, let's run again the file. And as you can see, our server is running and we can uh, browse its uh, resources. Let's open up this in our browser. Okay, this is the main server. It should run on port 3000 and under items, we should get uh, exactly the items from our file. So we successfully can use uh, this address uh, with this uh, API uh, to retrieve adjacent uh, formatted data out of it. Next, we would like to add our images to those uh, items. So we can just edit items.json. And here we can just add uh, one field, let's say uh, photo, and uh, we'll uh, type uh, the address to our photos. And let's add it everywhere. All right. As you can see from the terminal, I have uh, already prepared three images here. Let's create uh, one new directory. Uh, let's go with uploads and uh, place those images inside. Uh, so we'll be serving from uh, this directory uh, images. And uh, in order to do this, we will uh, use a Node.js server using Express. So now we'll be creating it. All right, so we'll create a, a new file and inside we'll set up our server. So we'll need a path um, module. We'll type const path equals to require path. And let's save uh, this file as a server.js. Again, outside of our project, we'll type server.js. Uh, and then we'll use the express library. So we'll type const express equals require express. And now we'll create one application out of this express. So we'll create an instance out of this library. So we'll type const app equals to express. Once we are ready, 
we'll create a constant where our images will reside. So this will be for the directory. Again, const uh, directory, and it will be under the folder uploads. Afterwards, we'll serve our images. So we'll type app.use express.static and we will provide the directory where the, our images are and it's saved inside of our constant. And the last thing we would like to do is to define a port on which our application will listen. So we'll type const port and it will be 3500. And now let's provide this port for our application to listen to. So we'll type app listen, then we'll provide a port and the moment the application is starting, we would like to log out to the screen. Uh, server started on port. And here you write our port. Okay, let's save the application. And the next thing is to install actually the express library. We'll just type npm install express. And we are warned that uh, there is a severity vulnerability, so we can type npm audit fix. Okay, we're starting the server. Let's try to browse what we have in our uploads folder then. We'll go to our browser and we'll type the address this time with the 3500 port. Let's uh, grab something uh, from this address. Um, Inside of our uploads folder, we have tomatoes JPEG. So we'll type tomatoes JPEG. And we see that uh, the web server is working correctly, serving images. Now we can use uh, those images to fill uh, the data uh, here in our items service. So we'll go back into our items.json and we can type uh, here under the photo tomatoes JPEG oranges jpeg and the other was grapes jpeg we save and one thing to notice is that uh, if we go back again and refresh we see that uh, we'll have still the old information we need to restart the server we have to stop and uh, start the server and back again in the browser we'll have our updated information now we are ready uh, to use uh, this service inside of our angular uh, project